rapidly. Only one day after inoculation, the dairy cow is opening and closing its mouth and sticking out its tongue because the tongue is sore. There is some drooling. This foamy saliva around the lips is characteristic for acute FMD. The smacking sound, or tongue sucking, is a classic sign described by observers of natural outbreaks of FMD. Now has also developed foot soreness as suggested by the movement of her rear feet. Again, she is shifting her weight on her rear feet, indicating some soreness. The cow was tranquilized for a close examination. The blanched interdigital skin is a result of vesiculation. Note how easily the vesicle is punctured. This fluid and vesiculated epithelium are excellent diagnostic materials. For the whole width of the tongue around the raised area, the epithelium is blanched and areas appear raised. This entire blanched area is vesiculated. Note how the epithelium can be moved when pressure is applied to the blanched area. The animal is drooling and tongue sucking. Kicking movements and shifting weight clearly indicates sore feet. The area of white skin is an interdigital vesicle. The vesiculated area on the tongue has broken. Note that there is a wide blanched area proximal to broken epithelium. Infection occurs, the lesion heals quickly. The blanched white epithelium is detached from the basal epithelium and can be pulled off. Again, this epithelium is excellent diagnostic material. These vesiculated areas have ruptured. Eroded areas on the hard palate, blanched areas behind the teeth. The animal has rapid, shallow respiration. Remember that the vesicles are just one part of this systemic disease. On the tongue, most of the epithelium over the vesiculated area has been lost. Some loose epithelium remains around the edges of the lesion. The anterior part of this lesion in the mouth is still covered with necrotic epithelium. The blanched areas on the lower lip have eroded. Necrotic epithelium covers the lesion beside the dental pad. The white area in the interdigital space is epithelium from a broken vesicle. Note the loose fragments of epithelium. This ruptured vesicle is in the interdigital space of another foot. The animal's teats are also affected. This cow is lactating. This vesicle surrounds the sphincter of the teat. Histologically, this is usually accompanied by a lesion in the epithelium of the street canal. This allows bacteria to enter and cause a secondary bacterial mastitis. Pigs are depressed and do not want to get up. Note the coronary bands on both front feet. Notice the reluctance to put any weight on the left rear foot. The coronary band is severely blanched. This area is vesiculated, and there is a slight hyperemia proximal to the coronary band. The animal is very lame. There is vesiculation and rupture of vesicles on the heels. The blanched area on the snout is an early vesicle. Note the coronary band and the vesicular swelling on the snout. The mouth movements in the pig on the right is suggestive of a sore mouth. 
These vesicles are on the left side of the snout. Vesicles on the other side of the snout are red because of some hemorrhage. Notice how carefully the pig moves the rear foot so as not to put weight on the claw. Note the erosion of the skin. This is typical of FMD in pigs. Note the ruptured vesicles on the heels and erosion of the skin. Lesions commonly appear on the feet and snout. The brown area is necrotic skin over a dried vesicle. In this more distant view, note the brown area and the coronary band. More lesions on the snout and feet. Here is the inoculated pig. Its feet are more sore than on day two. The coronary band is blanched, and the vesicle on the heel and dew claw is ruptured. The vesicle on the snout has enlarged. This vesicle has enlarged and has become more hemorrhagic. When aspirating a vesicle, introduce the needle in a normal area of skin and then enter the vesicle from the bottom. Vesicular fluid contains a very high titer of antigen and virus and is thus an excellent diagnostic specimen. This is loose skin of a large ruptured vesicle. Note the size of the lesion. This vesicle involves the whole interdigital space. Note the blanched white appearance of the skin over the vesicle. If trimmed off, the loose skin makes an excellent diagnostic specimen. The pig is very lame. The coronary band is eroded and the area is swollen. The area appears wet because of a serum exudate. There is extensive erosion of the skin proximal to the claws and dew claws and on the hocks. This is the foot on which the pig is so lame. There is extensive detachment of the heel, sole, and part of the wall of the claw. These severe lesions on the feet are typical of acute FMD. The pig has been tranquilized. This is an erosion on the lower lip. The brown regions on the snout are areas of dried skin from FMD degeneration. There is also an erosion on the chin. FMD tongue lesions in the pig appear as dry necrotic areas of epithelium. Vesicles, as are often seen in cattle, are rare.